orders have been placed. 3,000 are left to go around. What are they? They're all beef hot dogs. Oh. And they're not just any hot dogs. These are big hot dogs. You can choose whether you'd like to do a dozen or whether you'd prefer to do three dozen. Either way, you're going to be able to stock up and save here if you want to do the three dozen. The three dozen saves you about, uh, what is this, about $16. It's going to be easy pay. That is four easy payments of $22.25. Sorry, I dropped my card. Oh. Uh, if you want to do the, the one dozen, it's four easy payments of $8.75. Want to let you know. The, the food item of the month, the price and the easy pay are good until the end of the month. I can't believe this, but May 31st is a week from today. Uh, what? Crazy. I need to slow the roll here on time, but we're talking all beef hot dogs. Yes. How big are these hot dogs? 3.2 ounces versus a 1.6 ounce that you get at the store. Let's just jump in and just take a look at the difference, which is okay. really awesome. Okay, so this is your store-bought hot dog. What do you see? It's pale, it's pink, it's, I don't even know what color it is. This is your Kansas City hot dog. Look at that. It's red like beef should be. It's basically this ate this. It's that big and it's that juicy and we'll jump right in and show you what that looks like inside. But again, a beef hot dog should be the color of beef and that's red. That's not pale anything. So that's very important. So let's just get right into the heart of the hot dog. Look at that. So this is a juicy hot dog. Look at that. Mm. That is a ju I mean, it's, uh, what's going on here? It's just so juicy because there's Kansas City steak in here. All our classic cuts, sirloin, ribeye, tenderloin, inside this hot dog. And then we just spice it a little bit with some garlic, <coughs> paprika, and it's a hot dog. But it's a gourmet hot dog. You know, several years mm. ago, Katie, I like that. the steak company decided, you know what? We need to make the best hot dog that you've ever had. And we did. And we did it by using our steak, our famous corn-fed beef, and put it into the hot dogs. You got to taste this just by itself. Okay. With a little bit of mustard. Okay. Oh, you rem we presented these last yes. Saturday. Yeah. He remembers that I like my mustard. Yes. When I first last Saturday was the first day that I tried these, and I I'll switch forks. Okay. They're juicy. Yeah. What do you taste? They're guess? juicy. <laughs> I taste beef. They melt in your mouth. They're not rubbery like a lot of times the store brand hot dogs can be, but it just, it's a little dance of flavor. They're not super spicy. They're not too garlicky or anything. They just do a dance and oh my goodness, is it delightful. It right. is, and I am not the biggest hot dog fan, like to be very honest with you. Right. These are different than what we find at the grocery store. This is why Kansas City has been doing what you guys have been doing for more than 80 years, right? Oh, yeah. And, and this is why we're so happy to be able to deliver it to your door. Yeah, you know, we don't skimp on anything. Mm -mm. When we wanted to make a hot dog, I mean, you see here, we wanted to make a 3.2 ounce hot dog, which is twice the size of a normal hot dog. And look at the bun to hot dog ratio. <clears throat> That's the perfect ratio. When you bite into a hot dog, you want to taste a hot dog. You want to just taste bun. And you know, I'm from Chicago, so I'm a huge fan of hot dogs, always have. This is the best hot dog I've ever had. And my wow. wife, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. Now, she doesn't like hot dogs. But guess what? Now she does because she tried this hot dog. They're it's different. Crazy. Yeah. They're it's different, different than I think what we think of traditionally with the hot dog. They're different than when you get that eight pack at home. These will come frozen. How long do they last in our freezer Up for? Up to 12 months. Up to 12 months. Yeah. And what I like too is you're, they're put together four in a pack. So that can be dinner for four. You don't have to open them and then you have that kind of half open pack just sitting in the refrigerator. Yeah. That kind of creeps me out because I never remember when I opened it. The other thing I'm going to point out, 3.2 ounces, this is bigger than our traditional store hot dog. So yes. guess what happens? You can split it down the middle. You can even do a half of a hot dog if you want. But when I eat this, like it's often it gets lost in the bun, the old, the old school hot dog. These own the bun. Yeah, look at that. So what? That so, <laughs> looks good. I just heard, oh my gosh. So I have one on my board here that I split open and put some chili, cheese, some hot peppers, and then I just throw a french fry on it. Look at this shot. I mean, this is a little you messy. You had me at the french fry. Like, look that's amazing. I mean, look at this. So, do a little hot dog tasting party. You know what? Do this as an appetizer yeah. and then do like different mustards. Yeah. Do a little chili to dip in. Do some different cheeses to dip in. And with getting the set of either eight or the 16 count, you've got hot, I'm sorry, either the 12 <laughs> or the 36. I totally underplayed that one. You can do a dozen or three dozen. Think of all the fun you can have. Think about, you know what, when the kids want to have the pool party, when all the neighborhood kids end up in your backyard, what are you going to feed them? 
go into the freezer, grab the hot dogs, yeah. get them on the easy pay and the price because at the end of the month, which is a week from today, price goes up, easy pay goes away. Again, you can do the 12 count or you can do that 36 count. Sarah's standing by. Sarah, come on in. <laughs> Sarah's our hardworking studio okay, coordinator. Okay. Ralph would, would like to let you sample a little here. Okay, do you want the stuff or do you want to just go normal? What are you thinking? I'm feeling adventurous today. Okay, let's yeah. do Look it. at you go, Sarah. All right. I knew I was building it for a reason. <laughs> okay. And by the way, what's so great about these is when you put them on a flat top or even yeah. your grill, you want to get that natural caramelization on the mm -hmm. bottom because it's a steak dog. It eats like a steak because of what's inside it. So you get that natural caramelization. So here you go. So you juicy, so tender. It, I'm good. You're good? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful now. Reach out. Yeah. I got napkins somewhere. All right. I'll find some. Good. Ah. Mm -hmm. Is it's different than a normal hot, like 100%. traditional hot dog, yeah. right? They're juicier, they're meatier, they're beefier. And I never, they like, taste like cut beef. it down the middle either, like to open it up. It's a good idea. See, yeah, it's a great idea stuff it because it, it it's easier. Thank and you, all Sarah. You're welcome. <laughs> you can do a dozen. You can do three dozen. Do the auto delivery, it'll come home every 90 days for a year. I'm gonna recommend the auto delivery because this can be dinner. This can be, you know what, do one after school snack, just cut it up in little pieces for yeah. the kids. Kids of all ages like hot dogs, but when I think back to the hot dogs I first ate as a little kid, they were skinny, they were tiny. Quite frankly, they didn't have the greatest flavor, which is why my mom cooked them in butter. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah. these stand on their own and they also really work as a nice little boat to top them yes. with whatever you'd like to top them with. I'm just, I just kept topping because the point is because of 3.2 ounces, they can stand up to any condiment. Mm -hmm. I, have chi I have cheese on this, onion, bacon. How about a little bit of that spicy sauce that we put on hamburgers? Oh. Why not? Look at that. That's a gourmet hot dog. If a steakhouse had hot dogs on their menu, this would be on it because it's that robust. It's so rich in flavor that you just forget it's a hot dog for a second. Well, and you know what? With these hot dogs, because you're wonder dealing with this all beef base, I want you to get creative. I know the 36 count's been popular. We also have the 12 count for you. But this isn't just any hot dog. I want you to get creative. What would you like to top it with? Would you like to do the French fries? Do you want to make the chili dog? I love the idea of like maybe do, do some tater tots kind of broken yeah. up, a little cheddar cheese, or maybe, you know, a little fresh mozzarella, throw some oh, roasted peppers on yeah, there. Yeah. Because you've got the all beef base, almost anything goes when it comes to what you want to top it with. Yeah, and it starts with the juiciest hot dog you have ever had. Why do you think it's so juicy, Katie? Because there's Kansas City corn fed meat inside here. That's why it's so juicy. Look at that. And what's great about it is sometimes what I'll do is I'll boil these for three or four minutes from, you know, when we thaw them out and then put them in on the grill, in a frying pan, whatever you have, an air fryer, and you'll get that kind of that nice caramelization on the top. Do you have, a, pre what? Do you have a preference on how you like to cook them? Oh. Like, what's your favorite well, way? I like to grill them, but I also like a flat top. But since it's grilling season, I like a really hot grill, get that kind of burnt almost on there, and then it's really juicy inside. You got a line. I got a line. Colin oh, okay. and Amanda I'm are running here. out of buns. Smells so good. Okay, you, but you go. know the beauty is you don't even need a bun. How many times have like you, you, know know, you make Let's the traditional yeah. hot dog and you're like, oh, I just have to use a piece of bread or something. Look at how big, look at how meaty, look at how yeah. juicy. Really, you can just kind of put it on the plate, dig your fork in and yeah. go. And then you, you guys ketchup or mustard folks? Uh, ketchup. Ketchup. And some onion. Ketchup, and some onion. All right. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. You guys are easy to serve. We have the 12 count. We have the 36 ketchup? count. Yeah. This to me is classic summertime Americana barbecue. The music's going. Pool of whatever size, whether it's just the baby pool you put your feet in or whether you've got the big Olympic sized pool in the backyard. Thank right? This is yeah. gathering around the table with friends and these taste really really good yeah. it's our food item of the month so at the end of the month which is one week from today price up easy pay out right now you get easy pay 11,000 have been ordered oh 11,500 have been ordered we have 3,000 left to go around Whew. get them home give them a try look if you're a hot dog aficionado this is a must do it, yeah. if you're someone who says you know what I really don't usually love hot dogs what do you think well, I was I was just gonna say, there's a lot of talking going on. A lot of I talking. I have like a hot dog yet. Okay. But I also feel like I just woke up, and this is like a great way to wake up, you know. There you go, breakfast yeah. of champions. But also, <laughs> isn't this isn't like one of those like skimpy little dollar dogs no. you get at the games? It's this is it's a serious. 
yeah. and you're going to be filled. And like I would even just do this, do a little salad on the side, maybe do a little potato salad, macaroni salad. Yeah, I love it. Put it right on top. Take a bite, guys. I Dive on it. in. Yeah. Mm. I consider myself a hot dog enthusiast. Enthusiast. Right. And I'm not going to lie. This is, this is a good hot dog. All right, yeah. good hot dog from a hot dog enthusiast. And not too salty, no MSG. No, yeah. Very and important not too over yeah. the top. You taste the beef, you taste juicy. Just needs a little relish, a little mustard, and you're good to go. Perfect. 36 count, 12 count. Easy pay, free standard shipping and handling. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Enjoy your hot dogs. And the easy pay and the price will go away at the end of the month, which is next Friday. So, so good. Whoa. All right, now I'm excited. Get okay. excited. Okay. Brand new. Brand spanking new. This is, if you love brisket, this is like you were saying, it's the gem.